Shabbat Shalom. Love. Love is very popular today. Who doesn't love love? Hollywood certainly makes a lot of money off of love. But some people claim that romantic love is a Victorian invention. That's possible. The Torah speaks of love, but it's covenantal love. Loving someone by treating them the way that you would like to be treated. In this week's Parsha, we're commanded, Ve'ahavta l'reacha kamocha, love your fellow as you love yourself. What does that mean? Rabbi Avram Karlitz, better known as the Chazon Ish, teaches that we can understand this phrase from the other commandments around it, including the commandments right before it, which tell us to rebuke someone who has done something wrong, but to be careful not to rebuke them in the wrong way, because that itself is a sin, and never to take vengeance or bear a grudge against anyone. It's easy to love someone that you like. What about a person you don't like? What about a bad person? Shouldn't we hate evil and wicked people? The Rambam teaches that we're only supposed to hate a wicked person if we have truly and properly rebuked them, but they still refuse to apologize and change their ways. But, he adds, no one really knows how to properly rebuke someone. To do it properly, we have to actually truly love that person as much as we love ourselves and want only the best for them. So since we're not expert enough in proper rebuking, there's never a reason to hate someone and we should only focus on loving another person. Not romantic love, but covenantal love treating them how we would like to be treated, being sensitive to their needs and to their feelings. And as we grow in our love for others, maybe we'll be able to properly correct another person when they do something wrong, and we'll be able to accept criticism ourselves when we have done something wrong. Look forward to seeing you in the Shabbat at TRZ, Friday night at 7.30 p.m. for the Shabbat experience with Craig Taubman, and Saturday morning at 9 a.m. when we'll celebrate the B'nai Mitzvah of Jonas and Lucas Friedman. Shabbat Shalom, and have a happy Yom HaAtzma'ut.